Overall, I had $6,000 profit which on Tesla and TQQ. Then I started trading uh, NVIDIA, AMD and AMC too, but all of them were really, really messy and I just didn't, oh, beautiful move. And I really didn't enjoy any of those uh, moves, to be honest with you. Uh, so AMD tried to, uh, you know, go long, didn't work out, and then I shorted and I got out. Alright guys, good morning everybody. This is Andrew. I'm gonna go do a recap. Today market gapped up. To be honest with you, I don't know why it gapped up. Um, but uh, I don't. I didn't see any specific uh, uh, reason for the market to gap up on the macroeconomics uh, situation. IBM was one of the most famous uh, earnings that we, they had last uh, night. Uh, so the IBM gap down uh, 7% and the reason for that is the loss of sales. Um, uh, because of the uh, you know lo losing business in Russia and a strong U.S. dollar. That's another thing is that the strong U.S. currency is usually bad for economy for exporter because now the cost of services and goods that you're exporting is going to go higher and higher and competition can get better. And that's the you know, one of the things that when they increase the interest rates faster than other banks, your currency is getting much stronger because it's just you borrow on the other currency you deposit it in the other currency that be the higher stronger uh, interest rate you just make profit that's usually the current interest rate uh, between two pair defines the power of uh, the currency so IBM had this uh, uh, concern about the strong uh, USD and uh, obviously uh, loss of some sales because of the Russia uh, so gap down seven percent and that's not good for uh, you know for obviously one of the best I think IBM is part of actually Dow Jones too it's one of the industrial companies I might be wrong but it's I don't anyways uh, the best uh, trade for me was um, uh, Tesla and TQQ uh, where's Tesla so I did two scalp on Tesla for a short uh, you know a couple of hundred shares uh, for the break of uh, previous day close uh, the one time and then another one after we break off uh, low of the day I wrote the momentum here so that was these two trade uh, was on Tesla was clean uh, TQQ was a really nice trade that I did I lost a little bit of profit back on that uh, so the market started rallying uh, I went long TQQ at 2685 all the way up to the high of the day and then I got it stopped out of the break even I did it one more time with a little of a smaller share size dropped below the Viva when I got it stopped out but now it's uh, market is rallying so overall I had six thousand dollar profit which on Tesla and TQQ then I started trading uh, Nvidia AMD and AMC too but all of them were really really messy and I just didn't oh, beautiful move and I really didn't enjoy any of those uh, moves to be honest with you uh, so AMD tried to uh, you know go long didn't work out and then I shorted and I got out and it really rallied after that I'm glad I got out of it uh, AMC at the open was really active I went chased it got out then tried to go short a little bit here didn't work out so I'm glad uh, it's just not worth even the recap so it's one of those over trading choppy days uh, that uh, I do that um, semiconductors are strong the news came in that Nancy Pelosi the family of Nancy Pelosi the speaker in June they bought five million dollars worth of NVIDIA uh, so that's why uh, you know yesterday Nvidia was really really strong and apparently there is a cheap uh, bill or something in the Congress that's going to come worth two twenty billion dollars or something I don't know exactly uh, but uh, uh, yeah so I don't know if it's these two are correlated or not but semis are really really strong uh, semiconductors uh, as you see AMD is just running and ripping higher as well uh, so yeah that's uh, that's my day Brian how was your day um it was kind of choppy <clears throat> had two trades that didn't work out um ba and ibm um kind of got stopped out because they got chopped up but then uh i did have a, <clears throat> a pretty decent short on xpev um which kind of made up for it so uh it um it showed up on the turbo breakdown scanner and uh some of our members also mentioned um ne neo neo was actually a little bit cleaner on a breakdown but i traded xpev um, so I got in at, uh, 2750 on that consolidation and then, um, uh, then just, uh, took it right down below 27 it was my final exit 2695. So, um, yeah, <clears> kind of made up for a couple of other losses. Well. I remember that we tried to catch this reversal, both of us and Neo, 
didn't work out so i got out of it with a couple of hundred dollars lost but eventually slowly growing up i don't yeah. know what happened with xbev and new both of them really sold off really bad yeah so anyway it was a choppy day um didn't make didn't make much well, yesterday was a much better day but that's just the way it goes yeah so, so. it's very important to these days recognize the choppiness and uh you know either trade with smaller share size or really don't mess around with uh uh, with the stocks that feel choppy right now. I mean, Tesla, for example, isn't really choppy, but the moves are so erratic that I don't know, it's hard to catch them. Um, you know, you can see a really nice direction, but it was really hard to catch them. Uh, Chris, yeah, you're right. Uh, sometimes you have to give the patience. I knew eventually this Spy and QQ are going to break out, uh, but it was hard to catch. Like TQQ, for example, you know, it's just, you know, if I was sticking to my original entry, I would have still been stopped out. So. Let's see what it does, how it goes. All right, guys, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, Adi is having a presentation today about options day trading. So if you're interested in the options day trading, Adi is going to have a presentation. And uh, if not, uh, then I'll see you tomorrow morning in the chat room, guys. Market, uh, it seems that it's uh, ripping higher now.